what's up everyone? My name is Geraldine and I'm an 11 year old girl in 6th grade. First of all, let me ask you, how many hours do you guys sleep? And how do you feel when you wake up? Do you feel grateful or do you feel tired and grumpy? We all have experienced that lack of sleep that can make us grumpy and foggy. But many people may not know what it can do to our long-term life. Statistics show that more than half adults worldwide report that they get lack of sleep. 20 to 40% of young children like me are also estimated to have sleep problems. And to be frank, my sleep schedule as a kid is horrible. Even though in the holidays I can oversleep, lately I definitely do not get much sleep. That's why thank you Arlanga for organizing this speech contest. I hope my speech today is going to be a wake up call for all of us to take sleep deprivation as a serious matter. Well, what is sleep deprivation actually? Sleep deprivation means that we are not getting enough sleep. Here are the hours of sleep amount we need based on the age group. From the data, we can see that we all need to spend more than a third of our life just for sleeping. Even children like me need more than 9 hours to sleep. Why is sleep so important? There are going to be two points of view that I'm going to share. First point of view, from our brain health. Did you know that our brain stays active while we sleep? Our sleep plays in a role for consolidating memories in the mind. If we don't get enough sleep, we won't be able to remember what we learned or what we experienced during the day. It means that if you want to remember the information better in the long term, study before you nap or before you sleep. Sleep also helps us to synthesize new ideas. While we're sleeping, pieces of knowledge can be pulled from different parts of the brain to create a new concept or aha moments. That's a big help if you're trying to do homework or you're trying to move on from a bad memory. Second point of view, our physical health. While we're asleep, our body is taking the time to rest and recover so we can perform well the next day by healing our damaged cells, boosting our immune system, and recharging our heart system so we can perform well the next day. We will wake up feeling refreshed. However, if you neglect your sleeping schedule, you will actually start to damage your physical system. In the long term, it can potentially lead to chronic illnesses such as Alzheimer's, diabetes, cancer, and you will even have trouble fighting off invaders such as COVID-19. Sleep is indeed about brain, body, and life. So, how do we hack ourselves to get enough sleep? Here are my tips based on my own experience. First, avoid eating and drinking heavily at least three hours before we sleep. If we have something in our stomach, our bodies will have to digest it and will make falling asleep next impossible. Second, keep the bedroom cool and dark. It will help you sleep calmly. I have my sleeping eye mask with me. The last tip I got is, try to maintain regularly about wake up time and bedtime. It will balance our sleeping quality. So, what is the bottom line? Along with nutrition and exercise, good sleep is one of the pillars of health. You cannot simply achieve optimal health without taking care of your sleep. And that's it from me. I hope you have a good sleep today. Like a really, really good sleep for your brain, your mind, and your life. And thank you for stopping by and keep your head up. Bye for now.